Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your morning out with us. I'm Jenna Stauffer alongside Tom Oosterhout. Hello, oh, Tom. Mwah. So wonderful seeing you. And you're you know, moving you around. You look so fabulous at 7.30 oh, in the morning, Jenna. How do you do that? You're How do you liar, do that? Tom. Did you stay up all night? <laughs> <laughs> you're a liar. You look fabulous and oh. bright-eyed this morning, Tom. Well, I and feel bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Good. And mm. I know you're... You're going through a kind of a back problem right well, now. Well, I had an attack of stenosis. It's where mm -hmm. arthritis uh, can crush your spinal cord and crushes it and makes me almost paralyzed mm -hmm. from the waist down. But they, I'm going to have an operation and fix it, and I'll be just like new. You will and be I'm not just back on I, your And feet. I'm not going to even miss a show. So no, I, you That's know, right. I, he won't you know, miss a Friday. Uh, I'll be here. I'll be here. I'll be here. So, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what i do on Friday morning without you, so you have to be here, Tom. I can't wake up on Friday morning without you. I mean, <laughs> I'd never get up at 7.30. I tell you that. <laughs> Hello. Ditto. And well, so <laughs> well, I love your issue this week, Tom. I love your cover photo. You have well, yes, we uh, spent a couple of hours interviewing our new school superintendent who hails way up from Minnesota, not too far from Minneapolis, but uh, he was in that school system 32 years. He started as a football coach wow. and a very interesting guy and mm -hmm. he ended up as superintendent. So from coach to superintendent, that's pretty interesting. That you know? is very interesting. And, uh, but he's the nicest guy and such a professional. And he's one of those by the book kind of guys. He knows everything about education. Mm -hmm. So he's really going to do a heck of a job, I think, running our school system here. That's wonderful. That's good news. We then. need a, you know, a top light, straight edge pro professional at this point because we know we've had a little curves and squeaks. So anyway, uh, this guy, I think, is going to get us back on board. On, you the, know, on the straight road. Straight right? and narrow, yeah. Okay, wonderful. I'll now, what better. else? What else <laughs> is in you this week's issue? Okay, well, also, we had the Herman Cain dinner where um, Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain, not best known for his 999 plan for the mm -hmm. tax reform. And, he was, and I have to tell you, you know, I was struggling to, and so I was leaning against the aquarium in the Grand Key uh, lobby, and he walked over to me and started talking, and Aww. what a nice guy. Oh, so you like him. I, I, on a personal level, I really liked him. Mm -hmm. I really, really did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of think he might be better than what we got now, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's besides I'm, the I'm talking <laughs> about the Republican top runners, but anyway... Uh, Whatever, but um, right. So you have a spread from the yeah, dinner. We have a big spread, and both mm -hmm. of our congressmen were there. Uh, Ileana Ross Lightman, uh, who's on her last year as our congressman, and David mm -hmm. Rivera, who takes up if he wins the election, uh, January first as our congressman. So they were both there on hand, and mm -hmm. of course a lot of the local dignitaries and everything. And it's all here in color. Wonderful. And um, let's see. We also had the king and queen kickoff. And we have four very able candidates for King and Queen of Fantasy Fest this year. I can't believe that that's coming up so soon. Oh, so. I know it started. So uh, the, the campaigns are off and running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And our friend Mark Patterson is uh, running. And uh, let's see, um, Liz uh, Ketchum and uh, let's see. Uh, there's a bunch of candidates. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of them. I'm not even Sue sure. Sue Mauer. Okay. Marky and, Peterson. Uh, is it Marky Peterson? Huh? Marky Peterson? Yeah, that's who I meant. Oh, Mark, okay. Mark, it's Mark Patterson, though. Oh, Mark Patterson. That's Sorry. What, yeah, Wrong that's what I Okay. <laughs> and uh, let's see. And we also <laughs> have uh, the kids show, which is wonderful, with all the little kids out there at the Grand Key, which is Nancy D'Amato's gig. Mm -hmm. And uh, once again, she had Billy the Marlin there, and the kids had, little kids had so much fun. Mm -hmm. They played putt-putt with Julio over at Keith Energy, and Aww. you know, just all kind of things going on. It was just so special, so, so special. Mm -hmm. And on today's show, we actually have a good friend of yours, and I'm a big fan of this man, and it's Christopher Peterson. He does the show Icons. Oh yeah, Lachida. I have known Chris since he got here, and what a guy, what a guy. He's one of the funniest people on stage I've ever seen, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I mean, and he ad libs crazily, and I mean, his shows are just hysterical, just mm -hmm. hysterical. And he makes the most beautiful women. He well, really he does. does. And he one transforms of the, it. One of the interesting things about him is he changes right in front of you on stage, mm -hmm. transforming from one character to another right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, so it's very, very interesting. Yeah, and I'm excited to talk with him. We're actually going to talk with him right after these messages. So please stay with us, everyone.